Hi, I'm Tori, and I'm going to tell you how sneaky a best friend can be. When I moved to high school, studying became a lot harder, and my parents always demanded the highest grades for me in all subjects. My dad constantly checked what grades I got, and if they were low, I was severely punished for it. I tried my best, sat in the evenings over books, so as not to disappoint my parents. But still, there were students who studied better than me. One of them, Kevin, was a real genius. He was a straight A student. He sat in front of me and I always looked at him with undisguised admiration until one moment. We had a multiple choice math test that was really difficult. Everyone was working really hard during the test, and so was I. But suddenly I noticed that Kevin had a little cheat sheet on his knees. Oh, that's it. He's not a genius. He's just a cheater. I raised my hand and told the teacher about it. Kevin had after this incident one more chance to write the test. But from that moment on, he hated me and bullied me all the time. My best friend Maya was always there to protect me. She wouldn't let me get hurt, but one day something happened that changed everything. Before I continue, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you've clicked the bell. Then you'll know when there's a new video coming out on the channel. Kevin asked Maya out and they started dating. After that, my relationship with Maya totally went weird. I was so hurt. Maya and I had been besties since first grade. And now, I decided to get back at her for treating me like that, for ditching our friendship for her new boyfriend. I decided to make Kevin mine. One day after class, I went up to him to apologize. Kevin, hi. I know you're mad at me about the other day. I'm really embarrassed, really. You're the best student in math and I need your help. Can you help me with the last topic? I didn't understand it in class. Kevin looked at me silently for a couple of seconds and then nodded. Okay, let's do it after class. And I'm not mad at you. Kevin really was the best. He explained everything to me in detail and I wrote my next quiz excellently. Wow! Kevin, my parents are looking for a math tutor for me. $25 an hour at my house, would you agree? Kevin scratched the back of his head. Maya would kill me if she knew I was your tutor, but I need the money too. Okay, it's a deal. And I'll try to explain everything to Maya. Maya first was really angry at Kevin, but eventually she got over it. She still wouldn't talk to me though. Kevin came over three times a week to explain the subject to me, and we soon realized that he and I had a lot in common. He, like me, read a lot, was interested in space and comic books. One day, he and I were laughing out loud at some joke, and Kevin suddenly said, You're so funny, Tori. I don't get to have that much fun with Maya. And I understood it was time for me to do the next move. I sat a little closer to Kevin. Kevin, I've been wanting to ask you, I mean, we're both really into space. I have an uncle who works at SpaceX. SpaceX? Kevin was very surprised. Yes, and he can take us on a tour. What do you say? Kevin was starting to have doubts. Maya, she won't understand it, and I don't want to hurt her. She won't find out, Kevin. And he agreed. The next day, we got into SpaceX location, where everything was really so interesting. And I secretly took a picture of us together on my cell phone. And of course, 
I sent it to Maya and then posted it on my page, tagged Kevin, and put a heart in the caption. It was a scandal. Everyone at school remembered how I had given up Kevin's cheating to the teacher, after which Kevin bullied me and everyone was confused. I put a heart emoji in the caption. Maya didn't go to school for a week. Kevin was mad at me at first, but then he and I had a frank conversation and realized we had feelings for each other and we decided to date. And a couple of weeks later, we announced to everyone that we were a couple. So, to get revenge on my best friend, I got her boyfriend. We've been together for six months now and everything is good. What do you think about that? Did I do a really mean thing? What would you have done in my place? Please write, I'm really looking forward to your comments.